Hello, I'm Massimo Pezzini, the Head of Research Future of the Enterprise here at Workaro. Today, I'm going to cover everything you need to know about Integration Platform as a Service, otherwise known as IPAS. This includes what it is, its common use cases, the top benefits and future as I see it. Before we dive in, I want to provide you a short introduction of myself. I've been in the integration automation space for quite some time now. I was an analyst at Garner for 25 years, covering the integration automation markets. In that time, I had the privilege and pleasure of advising hundreds of global 2000 organizations on their digital transformation initiatives. In my current role at Workato, I'm still performing research within the same markets, this time with the goal of supporting Workato's customers and informing the product roadmap. Let's get started. IPAS is a cloud service aimed at enabling organizations to develop, run, and manage integration processes that connect applications, data sources, API, events, and devices across hybrid, multi-cloud environments. Organizations can use IPAS to support a variety of integration and automation use cases. For example, connecting a sales management software as a service application with an ERP system running on-premises. Feeding data from a variety of cloud and on-premises sources into a cloud-based data lake. Publishing API and events out of legacy applications. Automating end-to-end -end business processes that involve multiple applications, employees, and business partners. Innovating the customer and employees experience with via chatbots. And the list goes on and on. Based on those use cases, it's clear that an iPass offers a number of benefits. With one iPass, you can support a wide range of scenarios, application integration, data integration, B2B integration, process automation, API integration, event broker. Additionally, since iPass is delivered in the cloud, it's well suited to addressing cloud to cloud and cloud to on-premises scenarios. Finally, sign iPass offerings provide a highly productive, easy to learn, low code, no code user experience for developing integration processes. This potentially enables a wide range of personas, integration automation specialists, but also application developers, software as a service administrator, and even business users to use the platform to address their local needs and requirements. Its ease of use and rich set of functionality coupled with the convenience of cloud delivery makes IPAS the ideal enterprise automation platform for mid-sized organizations. But IPAS is also valuable for large organizations. First, it can support, it can fill numerous functional gaps uh, from their established portfolio of traditional platforms, such as ESB, ETL tools, and VPN platforms. Second, it can support a democratized approach to integration and automation by enabling non-professional builders who work outside the central integration team. In those organizations, IPAS typically coexist with previous generation of integration and automation platforms, but as organizations more and move more and more of their applications and data sources in the cloud, IPAS will increasingly replace these legacy platforms. With all this in mind, it's perhaps little surprise that the market for IPAS is set to increase quite notably over the next several years. In fact, the IPAS market is expected to exceed 15 billion dollars in US spending by 2027, up from about 6 billion in 2022. How will IPAS technology evolve over the next three to five years? Given its support for democratization, which promotes collaboration between business and IT, I believe that IPAS workgroup collaboration-based capability will improve further. In this way, IPAS will be increasingly adopted by so-called fusion teams, where IT and business people work together to deliver solutions. In addition, I expect IPAS offering to expand their functional footprint incrementally by adding capabilities that support new use cases, such as application composition, workflow automation, digital integration hub, uh, IoT integration, and event brokering. Hence, IPAS will increasingly absorb functionality currently provided by the previous generation of integration automation platforms. Think about IPAS becoming a sort of Swiss army knife for automation and integration. Furthermore, as more organizations look at to adopt IPAS, uh, to adopt a democratized operating model, I expect IPAS providers to invest significantly more on improving the distributed governance and operations capability of their platforms. 
Finally, generative AI will push opportunities for democratization to the next level. Uh, LLM technology will make it possible to describe the outcome we aim at in natural language, and the platform will auto-generate in all the necessary underlying integration artifacts. Simply put, iPaaS technology will play an increasingly pivotal role in your integration and automation strategy. Now that you know about the benefits of iPaaS, as well as the role it will play in your integration and automation strategy in the years ahead, you are likely leaning toward adopting it. As you do this, here are some best practices to consider. Number one, adopt iPaaS with a strategic mindset as it will become the cornerstone of your integration strategy. That is, look at iPaaS as a platform that can help you address a wide range of current and future requirements and not just as a point solution to a very specific problem. However, plan for the coexistence with previous generation integration automation technologies. An iPaaS could complement them, but also play an orchestrator role that, for example, coordinates the activity of an ESB, an RPA tool, and a B2B gateway to automate a complex end-to-end -end business process. Third, over time, look for opportunities to replace this legacy integration technology with your modern iPaaS. Doing so can provide cost savings, prevent your team from having to become fluent in multiple tools, and improve your integration and automation's observability, monitoring, and management. Lastly, I'd like to introduce you to Workato. Workato offers a single iPaaS for designing, implementing, and maintaining your integration and automations. We provide more than a thousand pre-built connectors and application databases, files, and APIs, as well as over a half a million integration and automation templates from our community of users and partners. Taken together, this allow your team and to implement impactful integration and automation quite quickly. On top of that, our platform offers a low-code user experience, coupled with enterprise-grade governance and security capabilities, allowing your team to integrate and automate at scale without compromising on compliance and data security. If you'd like to learn more about Workado and see the platform in action, you can schedule a demo with a member of our team by visiting workado.com slash request underscore demo. Anyway, thanks for watching this short overview on iPass. Hope it's been helpful. See you next time. Thank you.